Hello everyone, my name is Ricky, and if I were Spider-Man, you guys would know about it. Today I want to talk to you guys about the concept of having a secret identity, and why actually having a public identity would actually be pretty cool. When I say secret identity, I mean you wear a mask, and you don't want people to find out who you are. Whereas public identity, you stand up in front of conferences and say, I am Iron Man. I've said it before, but if I've had superpowers, I would tell literally everyone I know. Please, no pictures. Just your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I get my milk 2% just like all of you. And as much as I love superhero costumes, you would never have to run into this situation when you have a public identity. Honey, where's my super suit? If danger arises, you can just save the day, right then and there. Exhibit A, the Powerpuff Girls. The Powerpuff Girls were super powered superheroes, and everyone knew who they were, and everything was awesome. Why? Because everything is cool when you're part of a team. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. But it was awesome because everyone understood the responsibility that the Powerpuff Girls had. If the city of Townsville is under attack, the Powerpuff Girls can act immediately. The mayor calls the kids even if school is going on and the girls have permission to go save the day. Why? Because quite frankly, there's no nap time when there's no city left. I mean, Commissioner Gordon can't just call Batman up in the middle of the day and be all like, Batman is Commissioner Gordon. The whole city's on fire, and no one can stop the Joker but uh, you. Actually, I, uh, I can't talk right now. Uh, I'm in the middle of a board meeting. Uh, so, sorry, uh, I'm Batman. Yeah, no, 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 ship to China. And you might be thinking to yourself, but Ricky, the Powerpuff Girls are super powered, okay? It, that doesn't work for people who just want to be like a Batman type superhero. It's very possible for you to have a public identity and not be super powered. How possible? Kim Possible. Kim Possible saves the world time after time, all while going to high school, and all while letting everyone basically have her cell phone number. Yes, sometimes her family is in danger, but so is the world. It's for the greater good. And having a public identity actually encourages people who look like you. I mean, if you are a butt-kicking, world-saving teenager in high school, then you're showing other people that they can make a difference too. And they don't have to be bitten by a radioactive spider or have some kind of weird cosmic accident happen to them to make a difference. In Spider-Man 2, when they discovered that Peter Parker was just a kid, people really rallied behind him. They didn't think that he was just like some unstoppable alien force, but he was just a kid who was making a difference. And that's like super inspiring to me. And inspiration is awesome. Everything is awesome! And I rest my case. Having a public identity would be awesome and actually more practical than having a secret identity. Those are some excellent points there, Ricky, but you know, I just can't help but think that a secret identity is the way to go. In fact, I'm doing a whole video on it over on my channel, so come check it out. What do you think? Do you think it's better to have a public identity or a secret identity? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to follow me over on the Nerd Sync Productions channel where we explore Scott's reasons for why it's important to actually have a secret identity. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ricky. I like making fun nerdy videos every week. And if you need me, you can call me, beat me. If you want to reach me, if you want to page me, it's okay. Whenever you need me, baby, call me, beat me. If you want to reach me, boop, boop, boop.